How's it going everybody, Pachi Pokemon here, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue on with the V-Star Universe openings. This time around I've got two booster boxes, twice as much as last time. But without further ado, let's get into this one first. And see what we can pull. Still want to pull the, um, the Mew Art Rare, of course. And then hopefully at least one of the, of the full art trainer cards that I really like. You know, either Adaman or, um... Izui friends, Sinnoh friends, so on and so forth. Let's just get this out of here. I think I'm gonna get rid of the box for now. We're gonna be opening this box. Ten booster packs, of course. Put them right there, into the frame. And without further ado, let's get an opening, I suppose. Let's see what, what secret art rare we will get in, in these two boxes. Still hoping for a god pack, of course. But you never know. Alright. Let's see, we got a Lost Sweeper here. And our first art rare is the Diancy. And then afterwards is a Palkia V-Star. And a Adamon. And a Magnezone. Okay, so those are our two, two rares. I'll just let's do it like this. And now we have the, the Palkia. I think there's also the Arceus in here. We haven't pulled that yet, so that would be cool if we get this. Regice. Got a Lunastone, or Lunatone. Not Lunastone, a Cricketune. A Cheryl, I want to say. We've got a Lumion, maybe? And a Rare Apsil, and a Miltank. And our Reverse, right here. Alright, moving it on. Third pack. Third pack in. Let's see what we can get in this one. Got a Dun Sparse. Got a Ghastly, really happy Ghastly, I like this. Got a Manaphy. We've got a Samurott V Star, nice. This one was, I think, in Battle Region, if I recall correctly. Holy moly! Oh my god, we've got the Golden Giratina V Star! Yo! Oh my god, bosses orders? And a reverse, okay. Okay, that was... That was something else. That threw me off a bit, I do have to admit. Let me just sleeve the Samurott up real quick. And then we're gonna be taking a close look at this Giratina. Actually, I'll try to zoom in on the phone again. So we can get a really, really close-up view. Holy, that looks amazing. Like, all the other three gold cards actually look really cool, too. I think, is- are those supposed to be, like, I don't know, unknowns? Like, hieroglyphs or something? But this looks really, really sick. Yo! The first gold card. And I think- I don't know if this feels- I don't- this even- this doesn't even fill the- the secret rare spot. This is an ultra rare. Unless ultra rare is higher than secret rare, but I don't think it is. Either way, we should still get two more, two more art rares at the very least. But that is a really sick pull. The gold cards are top notch. Top notch. So far the first box is proving a success. But let's see what else we can get. Electrovire. Thavel. Altaria. There you are is our next art rare, the Keldeo. Afterwards, a Entei. And our rares right here, oh, the bird. The Zapdos, of course, we've gotten that... That art rare in our first box opening. And once once V-Star Universe gets cheaper, which I think it will, I'm gonna buy so many boxes of it. This looks really cool, it's like the, the Aurora Borealis in the background. Really, or North Lights, whatever you want to call them. Really nice art rare. Still not the Mew, really want to get the Mew, but it is what it is. Also, I've ordered the, um, the Jumbo Collection. You know, there's like, uh, Jumbo, Jumbo Collections coming out with like, I think, Latias, um, Mew and Lapras. I ordered the Latias and the Mew one, hopefully those will come here soon. So those are, those are really, really nice. We've got a Suicune V, and we've got a rare Bastion Legion, and a Moltres. And there's our reverse Melanie. Every single pull, sleeve it up. You get so many, I like it. So many pulls. We'll see if we still get a, a, um... 
CR art secret rare, art super rare, like an SAR. Hopefully another SR, but the gold one, the gold card we've gotten, is already more than I could ask for. That's so, so sick. Dark Patch, we've got a Giratina V-Star, and a Gengar. And oh, here we go! Radiant Charizard! Yo, brother! This box is insane. Radiant Charizard. I think if I remember correctly, like, one of the other videos, I talked about this one, a, um, a championship actually got first place. Or like a nationals. Look at this, I really like this illustration. Like, say what you will about Charizard, but you have to admit the shiny version looks super nice. And this illustration looks better than the one we've gotten from uh, Pokemon Go. From the Pokemon Go set. That's a really cool illustration. I think we're gonna go to a, a special place for you here. Right next to the Giratina, or below the Giratina. Still got four packs with this one included left to go. Um, should still get one more art rare. Fingers crossed, fing fingers crossed it is the Mew. But, let's see. Let's see, Latias. We've got a Regirock. We've got a, I don't know, something to the peak, way to the peak. Forgotten the name, the exact name of the card. There's Sizui friends. There is the Volt or no, the, the uh, Electrode. And here's another Keldeo. Here's, okay, I think we have a secret rare. We have a secret rare behind the, the, um, the Zoro arc here. Let's see what it is. It's the Fighting Energy, okay. So here's the, the secret rare. We've gotten the, the Metal Energy. Okay, I cleaned up the pulls a bit. Three packs left for the first box and then we're gonna be opening the second one. Fighting energy. I've, I've checked the prices after pulling the, the uh, metal energy in fact, and they're actually rather cheap for a secret rare, which is really nice. So getting like a full set of secret rare energies from this one is it's gonna be very affordable. Here's our third art rare, an Octikuro I wanna say, if I remember the name correctly. And our secret art rare is a Mewtwo V-Star! Yo! This is the one I really wanted to pull! Holy... Holy moly! That's really cool! And a Toxicitry. Let's just show off the... Really cool illustration. I actually kind of like this, dude. I have to be honest. Really like the background as well. Really colorful. That's kind of nice. And, yo! This pull. This is, this is one of my chase cards that I really wanted from the set. Check this one out. Actually, let me zoom in into this one as well. Like this, this, this looks, this looks really, really nice. I don't know, Mewtwo looks like it's charging up a Kamehameha, you know, from Dragon Ball Z. But I think it, it might just be the Shadow Ball. And also you have Charizard. This is like the continuation of the, of the Charizard V-Star that we've also gotten in the Charizard Premium Collection. Yo, that, that's a really, really sick pull. That's a really sick pull. Holy, I don't even know where to put this. I don't want to cover up the Giratina. But this, this, this box has been very successful so far. We'll see what the second box holds for us. But I'm so, so hyped for this. That's really cool. Gotta nick it. Got Hizui friends again. Got a Raihan. Got a Hizuian Zoroark V-Star. And a rare Deoxys. Arcanine. There you go. Couldn't think of the name there for a second. One last pack in our first box. See what we can get in this one. Let's see, we've got a Growlithe. We've got a Flaffy. Got a Drapion, I wanna say. A rare Moltres. A, an Articuno and a reverse Regice. Let's grab the, the second box and, you know, Cut it open. Alright, ten more booster packs. Here we go, three more chances for the... For the, um, Mew Alt or... I, I almost said alternate art, no, for the Mew Art Rare. Also a chance for a God Pack still. I've never actually had a God Pack, I've opened a ton of VMAX Climax. But I suppose they are really, really rare. But a God Pack would top this. We've got the Kelio again. That's a repeat. 
got the Ditto and a Gudra as our rares. But if you know this set, then you probably already know all the cards. But you know, seeing them in person is always something different than just seeing them on a picture or like on a video, I suppose. Like there are cards, there are cards out there that look so beautiful in person, like the videos and, and pictures don't do it justice. As we pull another Adamon, we've got a Radiant Greninja. Nice, that is a that is a reprint. I do remember this one in like I don't know, I wanna say battle region, but that might be wrong. This one was definitely one of the the first um radiant cards that we've gotten. But that's a nice, nice reprint. The radiant cards I've said it a few times now in, in some of my other videos, like the Japanese radiant cards look so much better than than the English ones. And I do believe like the silver border, in my personal opinion, that surrounds the cards looks much, much better than these than the um, yellow one that we have. There we go, we have a new art rare. We have got the Altaria. And our secret art rare is the Suicune V. Yo, that's sick. That is sick. Magnezone and Absol. Let's just show off the Altaria. It's it's very, very unusual. But I, I kind of like it, actually, I do have to admit. I kind of like this art rare. Looks very nice. We still have chance for the Mew, but here we go. That's our secret art rare. Not one that I originally had on my chase, but I, I have to admit, this artwork is really, really stunning. Like, look at this artwork. That's such a, such a stunning artwork, and I... Like seeing this card now, maybe this should have been on my on my chase list. Like this is a really, really cool artwork. Still have a chance for an additional secret rare. We've gotten one in in every single box so far. So we'll see what we get. Maybe another energy. Or hopefully a a full art trainer. You now friends in Sinnoh. There's our third art rare, so no Mew. But, you know, I'll probably just end up buying the Mew. We've got the Mew too. We've got the Mail Tank, and we've got the uh, Boss's Orders. Featuring Cyrus. There you go, that's our third Art Rare. And the Mew 2 V, which is a really cool artwork in itself. I believe this one was originally from Pokemon Go. This was originally from the, from the Pokemon Go set. It's gotten a reprint in here. But, let's hope for another Secret Rare. But other than that, this has already been a really, really cool, cool opening. Persec Trekking Boots. We've got Cole Res's Experiment. Reggie Draco. We've got a Hatter and VMAX. We've got a Rare and the Bird again. And Reverse Hizui, friends. Okay, I'm actually gonna put this aside. Last time I checked, this was like three or four euros, something crazy like that, for, for just a Reverse. So I'm actually gonna sleeve this one up as well. We'll see. It's probably gone way, way down now. You know, as more product comes available and as more people open V-Star Universe, all the cards are gonna be... gonna get cheaper and cheaper. I'm just a little bit skeptical about the Full Art Trainers. Those usually hold their value pretty well. You know, the ones that feature females. Who would have thought? But that's just something that's... Kind of crazy, I don't know. Most of the 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 um, Japanese full art that feature female trainers. There's our additional secret rare, lightning energy. Yo, I just pulled it away thinking it was nothing. Okay, okay, let's continue on. As I was saying, the prices for specifically female full art trainers, Japanese ones, are getting insane. Like numbers that that I would not be comfortable with paying for a single card, and I know why. I just don't want to say say the word. I'm pretty sure if if you were like into or not even into collecting, if you look at the market, you probably know why why they're so expensive. It's because of the the so-called waifu tax, which is weird to me. Because there are so many so many cool-looking uh, full art trainers that feature male characters that are absolutely cool. For example, um, this one that I have ready for for grading the lance. This is this is a really cool full art too, but this is like 
This is like really cheap. Because I guess it's not a cute anime girl. Whatever. You know, good for me, because that means I get my full art trainers for for really, really cheap, which is good. But anyways, enough of that. Let's focus on V-Star Universe. See what else we can pull on these last few packs. Now we've pulled our secret art rare. There's the Rayquaza, that's really nice. We've pulled our secret rare and we've pulled all the the art rares. But that doesn't mean that there isn't anything else left here. I from watching a few videos, I I can tell that even if you pull all your secret rares and secret art rares and so on, there is still a chance that you get a god pack. So anything can happen, I think I think. Anything can happen, not in this one. Let's see what we can, we can find in the second to last pack right here. Got an, an Anamorus, a Toxicitry, or maybe the Pre-Evolution, Deoxys, and a Reverse Swablu. Put those over here. One final pack of V-Star Universe for now. I might be opening more of this later on, but I think, I think for now I'm just gonna let it sit and hope it gets, uh, gets cheaper. It should be getting much cheaper, and, and once it is, like, to a point where I'm comfortable with buying more boxes, I'll probably, like, buy, buy a ton of boxes. I kind of really want to buy a case, but that might be too much, that might be overdoing it. But I, so far, I just love this set. But it was the same with VMAX Climax when it came out. Nice, we've got a V-Star, um, Zorora. Got an Arcanine, Moltres, and a Reverse Cynthia. Okay, just real quick, this is the ports that we've gotten. We've got a Comfey, of course, as our art rare, an Altaria, we've got a Oricorio, I actually did look it up. We've got two Keldeos, we've got a Diancy, and then here, of course, our secret art rares. We have the Suicune V, the Mewtwo, really happy we pulled this one. We've got the Giratina V-Star in gold, like gold rare, ultra rare in, in Japanese, and then, of course, our two energies. Lightning and Fighting, and our two Radiant cards, the Charizard and the Greninja. Really cool. So this was a really, really nice opening. And I really can't complain, I knew I would go on, oh, we didn't pull a full art trainer, we didn't pull a Mew, but no. This is fine, like, that first box was absolutely amazing. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel for more content in the future, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching, peace peace.